Good evening, my friends, my followers, uh, my nieces. <laughs> uh, yeah, so goodness, what time is it? Um, it's probably around 10 or 10.30. And um, yeah, so um, one of the reasons I'm doing van life uh, is to minimize my expenses and to give to... Uh, maximize the amount of time uh, the capital I have on hand will last me to en enable me to um, build a business I'm starting and to and to write and uh, um, and you know to afford me to give me my time back and anyway so um, I drove over so in Reading uh, the gas price uh, at the low end was 309 or 319 um, and uh, that was it's a little it's kind of expensive and um, and so I didn't realize it but I when I drove over here to uh, when I drove over to the California coast it was like 359 it was 50, it was a solid uh, 50 per, uh, 50 cents higher. 40 to 50 cents higher, um, which is a huge freaking jump. <laughs> and, um, and so anyways, like that first town, uh, uh, as I, as I've said earlier, um, the first town I went to was Trinidad, uh, and it was expensive. And so I, I, I wanted to check out, uh, Arcada and uh just as expensive and uh i went down to eureka and just as expensive and so i was like well i mean i wanted to kind of hang out in california for a minute but the gas is so expensive and i'm and that's one of my it's going to be one of my uh probably not my biz, biggest expense but one of the biggest and as a van lifer you know it's like that's uh you know that's basically my rent and um, and so I was like, you know, I got to get to a place where I can drive around and, and, the uh, and fuel isn't going to cost as much. And so I thought, well, I got to just drive right to Oregon. I don't really get to hang out in California. Um, cause I kind of, I wanted to come to Oregon anyways, but I didn't think it would be so soon. And so, um, yeah. So like this evening, um, I drove, or today I drove from Eureka um, to here to Oregon, and I got here, and oh, I see. <laughs> um, and I get to Oregon, and uh, so 359 ish uh, or more um, down in California. Guess how much the gas is here in Oregon? Uh, to pay uh, cash unleaded, two eighty one, two eighty one. Holy smokes, that is like, ah, oh, my goodness. So what is that? Uh, so that's what sixty, seventy, eighty, almost eighty cents cheaper per gallon. Almost eighty cents cheaper per gallon. Crazy. Crazy less expensive. Uh, so I did see just now that looks by looks like by card. Um, it's uh, two eighty seven, but by cash it's two eighty one. Um, and so what I did today was I had I needed fuel, uh, and I saw one place in California where I was at. I think it was either Arcada or Eureka, or yeah, it was Eureka where I got gas instead of. So typically at about 319, 309, 40 dollars, uh, 40 dollars would fill me up. And, um, and so instead of spending 40 dollars to fill up when the gas price was 359 or something like that, I did find a gas station where it was a little cheaper. And so um, I put in a uh, basically, I put in just enough to get me to Oregon, so 15 bucks. And so now I can take uh, the other $25 um, and 
Um, and when this guy, it's not, I, I mean, I could do it right. I could pay for gas right now, uh, with my card, but I want to pay with cash to save that six cents per gallon and, um, and to get the eight, the 281 price. And, um, so yeah, so I'll take that, the, the, rem, the remaining $25, uh, for my gas budget and, uh, and fill up here in Oregon and make my gas and get way more way more out of my money um, So yeah, just one of the things about minimalism and van life um, And making you know if you're working with a limited budget if you have some capital set aside um, or if you're just uh, price sensitive um, uh, Learning to make strategic moves to lower expenses and um and so it, it reminds me of what uh, Robert Kiyosaki, who wrote Rich Dad, Poor Dad, uh, said, or rather his, if, if, uh, his, his rich dad said, uh, which was, it's not how much money you make, but how much money you keep. Uh, so it's really interesting. So like one of my favorite uh, ways to practice financial literacy, financial intelligence, is to play a game called cash flow um, on my phone. And so I'm on Android, but I think they also have, they may also have it on, uh, on, uh, iPhone. But anyways, um, so it was really interesting because I played it last night. And so when you start the game in cash flow, it's kind of like advanced monopoly. Um, except for those, uh, intellectually, um, those who need intellectual stimulation, like myself, it's a really fun game. For some others, it could be really boring. But, um, so anyways, I was playing it last night, and they give you a profile to start with. And so you might start as a plumber, um, or a lawyer, or whatever, or a doctor. And so last night, they gave me an occupation. I don't know what it was, but it had a pretty high starting salary. And what was so interesting is that even though it had a high salary, uh, it mirrored... The game mirrored uh, the research that was done by the author who wrote The Millionaire Next Door and The Millionaire Mine, which is that, in at least in American society, and I wouldn't be surprised if this is true the world over, uh, high earners tend to be, no, not always, but tend to be high spenders. And, and so it took me, even though I, was, I had a higher salary, in the game and I did everything as I would have typically which was to buy assets because that's how you escape the rat race uh, it took me way longer to escape the rat race with the with the high salary but also higher expenses and uh, and before when I had played with a lower salary but lower expenses I was able to get out of the rat, way, rat race much quicker um, and escaping the rat race for those who don't know is when your passive income exceeds your spending. And so, uh, so fascinating to me because I've heard people say um, that uh, something to the effect of you can't, um, uh, you can't, like when you reduce your expenses, you can't reduce your expenses to wealth. You, like reducing your expenses does not take you to wealth. Um, and there's a little bit of truth to that. You need to be able to make money, but I disagree with that um, predominantly uh, because uh, it's not how much money you make; it's how much money you keep. And so, um, and so, like that's what I'm doing as a van lifer. Uh, and the exp one of my big expenses being fuel is looking for a locate, for, looking for a place where fuel is less expensive, where I get to keep more of my money. And so, uh, yeah, Oregon, uh, much better gas prices than California, 281 at this gas station. Maybe it's cheaper or more expensive elsewhere. This happens to be a casino gas station. Um, and I've noticed one other casino gas station where it was also cheaper um, than uh, other, gas lo uh, other gas outlets. So anyways, I hope that this video was uh, helpful for you and gave you a little insight um, into how you can make uh, better decisions and how you spend your money in, in uh, van life. And uh, hit like and subscribe, share this with other people, and I hope that you have a great day. Bye-bye.